Okay, so I'm just working on the next full episode right now, but there's something sort of <laughs> flying around my little area of YouTube at the moment, so I wanted to make this quick video. Basically, a fellow YouTuber in my sort of <laughs> sort of space, guy called Cam Nichols, many of you are probably familiar with him, excellent channel, by the way. He's been in the process recently of building up a bike using a, a carbon frame from a company called Elves, who build, yeah, pretty affordable carbon bike frames out of Shenzhen in China. Now, I'll link Cam's channel and the particular video that I'm referencing in the description, but essentially he took his elves frame to a carbon specialist he knows, and they actually found a layer of glass fiber inside the carbon steerer tube. Now Cam, in the same way that I do, uh, I guess, I assumed that a carbon steerer tube was a 100% carbon fiber. So finding glass fiber in there as well was a bit of a surprise. Now definitely go and watch Cam's video for the full context, but he spoke with a senior engineer at a major bike manufacturer and they said one of the reasons companies might choose to do this is as a cost cutting measure. So glass fiber is a cheaper material than carbon fiber. And it's also easier to machine and work with when you're reaming out the inside of a steerer tube if there's a layer of glass fiber in there. Now, when cost cutting and carbon fiber are mentioned, this is where I come in. <laughs> so within my sort of bicycle fleet in, in, in my garage, I've got five of some of the cheapest carbon bike frames you can buy. So this bike is, uh, well, it's my latest build and the frame is from a company called OG Evkin, hopefully you can read that there, 380 quid for this carbon frame. This one here, completely unbranded carbon frame here from AliExpress, 323 pounds I pay for this. This blue gravel frame here, this is from ICANN, about 450 quid for that. The one behind it here, this is from Trifox, again, about 450 quid for that. And this one up on the wall is, well, it's my, my first cheap carbon bike frame that I bought. Got this on eBay, again, completely unbranded. Cost me 300 quid for this thing, and I must have done about 25,000 miles on it. So if this cost-cutting hypothesis holds up, all of these carbon frames should have glass fiber inside the carbon steerer tube. So I'm going to pull them apart and figure it out. Okay, so that took a few minutes to pull all these bikes apart, but let's get started. So this frame from ICANN, yeah, the forks here appear to be fully carbon. No sign of any glass fiber. If you look at the video from Cam Nichols, the difference in color between the glass fiber layers and the carbon layers was very distinct, actually. So hopefully you can see that's fully carbon. Same story with this one from Trifox here. Yeah, no sign of any glass fiber in that, uh, in that steerer tube there. And in fact, I've got another set of forks here, carbon forks from Trifox. Again, appears to be fully carbon fiber. This frame is from AliExpress, very cheap one here once again, appears to be fully carbon. There's no sign of any difference in color on those layers there. So that's a fully carbon steerer. This is my frame from eBay that I got in 2016, completely unbranded. And while it's a bit of a, a rough cut on the top here for this steerer tube, yeah, no sign of any glass fiber, very uniform color gradient there on the steerer tube. This one from OG Evkin is the only one I'm slightly, um, yeah, I'm, I'm slightly unsure about. You might be able to see a very slight difference in color on the edge there. So this is the only fork that I can see, well, sorry, the only steerer tube that I can see of this bunch that might have a bit of glass fiber in there. Um, and just to be sure as well, I also wiped down all of the, the tops of them with isopropyl alcohol to make sure that I was looking at bare carbon and not just any grease either. And one thing to bear in mind, the elves frames are more expensive, around twice the cost of some of the frames I've shown here today. So it would appear that that glass fiber in the steerer tube seems to be reserved for slightly more premium frames, if anything. And this kind of tracks with what I was thinking about this actually, because although glass fiber is gonna be a cheaper material than the carbon that it, it kind of replaced or whatever, the fact that when you're creating a steerer tube, you'll then need to swap the materials over partway through the construction, that additional step is gonna add additional cost and presumably negate any potential cost savings you're gonna get from including glass fiber in the construction of these. So I would assume that producing a steerer tube entirely with carbon fiber is gonna be a cheaper process in the long run. 
And another great YouTuber, shout out GC Performance. He was he was looking into this recently as well, and it appears to back this up actually. So he took apart some pretty premium frames from the likes of Specialized and Scott, and they had glass fiber inside their carbon steerer tubes. So I, I wouldn't worry too much. I think to, to mirror what quite a lot of people have already said, it's probably there to limit galvanic corrosion. So in a, in a carbon steerer tube, you tend to have a, an aluminium compression plug, a bit like this. And if water gets between carbon and aluminium, it can act a bit like a battery and essentially corrode the two together. So if you're not hot on your maintenance, these, <laughs> these can be almost impossible to remove if you're not careful. So I, I presume that's why the, the glass fiber is there. But yeah, like I said, it's, well, at least it seems to be reserved for the slightly more premium frames out there. Um, anyway, hopefully this adds a little bit to the discussion. I'm gonna get back to filming the, the next uh, full episode. So uh, I'll uh, see you next time. Ciao.